Greetings and welcome to Surviving Mars episode 8. In the previous episode we built the tunnel, we built some other stuff and the meteor shower I didn't know about. We built a tunnel, we built um, a metals extractor, we built some storage and a new robot depot and we ordered a rocket. But most importantly we completed some research that allows us to have more colonists, bigger, bigger buildings for them. Before we get started in the game however let's let you know the game was provided for free by the developer. Okay so now we go and whip out and whoop out and we turn around because this camera's facing the wrong way. Orientation's important when you're in an alien planet. Okay. So, first thing, let's slow the game down. Let's get something built. In here, I need a new brand new building. I need a brand new building to hold more people. I need apartments. Give me some apartments and put them over this side, please. No. Put them over this side so they're nearer the place where they can see pretty things rather than horrible things. Uh, let's pop you feel that way so the, the lower deck is facing outward so people on the upper deck can still see out. Makes more sense to me. And then we'll look at decommission this building here because, well, I'd rather them be in that bigger building and then build two bigger buildings, wouldn't we? Okay, so that's them working. What's our food situation? 130, so it is going up but slowly. Uh, you're unloading a whole bunch of stuff, thank you. And this has been built. So if this has been built, we can actually get down there. Now, I have a researcher. Hello, Toby the Explorer. You need to come down here and start doing research. So, can I... There we are. Tag these things. One, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, three, four. Do that order, because that's an anomaly. We can get ourselves an anomaly today. Where is Toby the Explorer? There he is. Hold on. I want to see you go through, Toby. We'll wave you goodbye. Hang on. Ah, ah, ah. Camera so slow. Camera so slow. Okay. Hang on a minute. Bloop, bloop. Bye, Toby, Toby. Bye. Dun, 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 Dun 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 da 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 dun 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 dun. Toby! <laughs> Alright, so you can take my orders to go to different areas. Let's try this again. You go there, control, there, then, there, then, there. Okay, so control, I was doing shift before. Okay, you go do that. We'll go deal with this. We have a colony ship arrived. Uh, no, you're not arrived. You're ready to leave and you still have supplies on you. So can you not leave yet? Thanks very much. How are we doing on rocket and planes? Four of them are currently in flight, which is actually pretty good. It means we've got a lot of resources moving around right now. Which actually is true because we're building that uh, depot. That, that, re that thingy. Sector scanned. Ooh, our anomaly time. Full speed. We're at full speed. Oh, okay. We'll wait a little bit longer. How's our uh, research doing? Breakthrough. Ooh, we should have something else on this list, shouldn't we? Uh, you are a micro medicine. That would give us a spire. I don't really need a spire for medicine right now. 3D machining. Again, I'm not really under production yet, so we're working on other stuff first. I would back. Deeper scans would be nice. Uh, don't need you. Uh, more applicants will start to appear on Earth. That would be useful. That would be useful. And a university to train people. For now, I'm going to go with more people. I think actually having more people will be available. I can do with a uh, building some universities, but I definitely need more people for that first. Uh, how are you doing over here? You're going over the anomaly research fairly slowly, but uh, you're getting up there. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba actually, we should have the Forever Young pretty soon. Um, because we get a nice big boost from completing that, won't we? That'll help us out a lot, actually. Uh, oh, the apartment's been built. Okay. Um, Breakthrough discovered. Great. Uh, could you turn that building off and everyone goes to live in there? Perfect. Now, I'm not going to dismantle that building just yet because I don't have a way to get rid of buildings that we need to destroy. I need to find that research. Um, let's have a look. That research was artificial muscles. Drones can carry two resources. Well, that is really useful, actually. That'll, get, that'll make our drones much more effective. Turn that on for now, we can always reassign it later. Is that a dust storm down here? It is a dust storm down here. 
Why are you idle? Go there. Go there. Go there. You weird robot. Alright, well, well, that's doing that. Let's get on with the next tasks, which are... God, they got repair that, okay. Uh, next task is you. You are almost ready for that. And we have... These extra ten people. Uh, ten people. These extra... Fourteen living places means new rockets with people on board to come. Passenger rocket, please. Okay, so let's start by clearing all quirks off and we'll reset what we want. Quirks. Vegan, I don't know. Tourists, definitely don't want tourists. Uh, guru, what's Guru do? Randomly spreads other traits to the colonists, but... <laughs> dome with less than three traits. It's the same dome with less than three. Okay, so basically this gives people more traits. Likelihood that we'll get some bad stuff, but not entirely bad. What's the reading in this rocket, by the way? PTX. I wish you could choose your rockets. I don't, I'd have designations for the people rockets and the cargo rockets separately, but the game just gives you a rocket and says this is what you're going to use. So, PTX. <clears throat> and this one will be the... the... Crumbling ship. There we go, the crumbling ship. In case you're wondering, that's just to basically see if DJ Crumble's watching. Probably isn't. Flaws. Let's get rid of some flaws we don't care about. We don't want idiot. We don't want alcoholic, although it's not a bad thing. We don't have any beer, that's the problem. Uh, let's see, we don't need glutton, and we don't want oh, cowards, they're fine. There's no couple of pages, that's literally the only, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not bothered by any of those are left. There's some annoying ones, but I'm not bothered by them. Uh, perks, I'm not really bothered by perks right now, I just need people. Uh, specializations I'm getting, um, I could do with the medics, but I can always pick those in a minute. So let's review our people available. I need a medic, because we only have one medic right now, could do a second medic, and I need some more food producers, and then we need to start looking at other people. So, what are your traits? Rugged, good. Uh, coward, okay, so no com so you get no comfort penalties from eating unprepared food, but you will cower in the corner whenever there's a bit of explosion around you. Okay. <clears throat> and you're a nerd, gain temporary morale boost every time we get... Well, you're not too bad, we'll pick you for now. Other medics, please. Medic, 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 medic. You, a uh, workaholic. Well, you know, if you're going to be a workaholic, I'm going to want to have you on the staff. Uh, no medics there. Uh, no medics there. And no medics there. Okay, so we've got two medics. I might as well bring both of the medics, actually, because we can. Oh, I didn't see you, medic. <coughs> oh, uh, you are a nerd, and you're sexy, and you're vegan. Well, I need, yes, you'll do. Uh, so three medics. I don't need one more, so having three more would be a problem. Uh, you're the coward. We do gain a bonus every time we do research, and you are a workaholic with no de ne negatives. So I'm sorry, but I don't need you. You have that negative there, which is a coward. But medic here has only vegan. So I mean, the medic might cause a, the vegan might cause a problem, but we don't know yet. Okay, so let's bring in some more people. I need to start with some more botanists because we are running a little bit short on botanists. Um, for the food we're going to need to be producing. So, botanists. Uh, whiner, fit, and workaholic. Okay. Uh, nothing there. Botanists. Nope. Botanists. Nope. I wish I could actually filter by botanists and then go back and filter by something else and they wouldn't just lose the traits. Okay, well, that's important. So, we need some... There's some people who just don't have any skills. You're a whiner and hippie. Uh, no. Oh, uh, actually, you, you, hang on. You, you're not too bad. I'll bring you on. Uh, you're a scientist. I could do with you later on. But, yeah, I could do with you later when we have a lab, really. Engineers, uh, we have a loner who will do good in the... You'll be okay there, I think. Uh, you will be pretty good. You're a survivor. Uh, some scientists, again... Better off for leaving those until we have a place for them, a proper place for them. Uh, you are vegan and composed. Okay. Uh, senior, but don't, we don't. We get these later when we make them work. Uh, you mm, increase performance penalty when low morale. No. Fit nerd and chronic loses health. Each day. Why would I want that? Why? Why would I want that? Are you gonna die soon? 
Uh, lazy. No. Uh, geologists are good for getting into uh, all the mines and stuff. Hypochondriac? That's not. Chronic condition? That's not. Uh, geologist. Sanity losses are half. That could be useful as a, as a thing. Uh, low no wine, chronic condition, no. Workaholic, always get the workaholics. Get the workaholics if you can. Especially if there's no downsides to them, get them. Uh, let's see, you. Rugged and party animal. Yes, yeah, okay. And I don't want to go more than 10 new people because we've got 14 places and I'm leaving room for growth. Natural growth. So... Launch my rocket with my new people. New people are on the way, guys. New people are on the way. Uh, we have beds for them. We have stuff for them. We will need food for them. But hopefully they'll be able to actually get in here and start producing the foods um, automatically. Because there'll be enough people to do so. That being said, we will be needing new uh, oxygen and water production. Moxies. Uh, total demand is 2.9. Production is 4. I think we'll be okay. If not, we can always build Research more. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Milestone achieved. Woo! Milestone achieved. Mile. Oh, what milestone it was, actually. One second. But we're forever young. Uh, milestone research breakthrough. Ah, uh, okay. We researched the uh, forever young. Our seniors can now work. Congratulations, seniors! No retirement for you. <laughs> All right. So more people are going to be lined up for, to to visit. Uh, let's see. I really could do with that, but I want the bigger domes. Now that will come under engineering. Probably engineering, actually. Let's do that one for less fuel. That'll be just generally useful anyway. And then we'll do that one for carrying more. They're in the queue for later, so we don't forget about them. And we'll find... Where's Toby? Toby! Uh, you did that one and you ran over here. Well, congratulations. Go do that. It is actually paused, that's why it wasn't working. Your battery is a little bit lower than I'd like it to be. Um, keep an eye on you, but uh, you're doing okay at the moment. But I need to research all this, that's the problem. Well, that's not a problem for me. How are you doing, Rocket? Are you uh, completely unloaded yet? You are completely unloaded. Head on home, Ranazian. Bye, 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 bye Ranazian. Alright, so that's up and running. That is good. Uh, supplies are, boom, 131 food and everything else is looking pretty good right now. So, that being said, with everything looking pretty good, we can start building more stuff. Now, in here, <clears throat> I am going to want some stuff. Uh, a school, a playground, and a nursery would be good for a bigger dome. We still need a bigger dome for that. Um, so, not for you guys. That's the basic dome. We need a bigger dome still. Um... Let's see, this, we already have a tower. We could have built a medical tower at some point. But we have all the places to make people feel happy, and we have a swimming pool down here that has seen 40 people be inside it. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. In fact, just because we can, let's build something else down here. Let's build a statue. Yeah. Boom, statue. And an alleyway. Now I can always remove these later, but if it's a little congregation area, people can go to uh, just look around. I know I don't need to build these; and it's probably eating up valuable space. But nah, my base, <laughs> my base. The colonists in there can live with it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, so with all that being done, uh, we are at full speed. Sector scanned. Yay! Oh, a lot of water in that one as well. Nice. Uh, let's go check the map very quickly. Make sure we've got stuff still on scanning. We do. So let's allocate the next five. Oh, well, not technically the whole five, but the next lot's actually... Can you take me down to my rover, friend? Because your battery is low. Can I send you here and will you charge up? No, this side. This side. This side. Thank you. Now what I'm going to do is, I can, over here I'm going to ask you, can you build me a power cable? From there to there. Now the very simple reason behind that is I want them to... Uh... Thank you. I want them to do to do this uh, and build a little hub down here. Put that there. Uh, give me a... Resp uh, not resp a standard cargo hub of a universal depot. 
Actually, would be really good. <clears throat> I have a spare? I do. Give me a drone hub. Where would be the best place to put it? There's two metal here. There's two metal there. There's two metal there. So we're going to have a dome in this area, most likely. Not too close, because there's going to be this here. There's two more there. There's water there. So a dome in this sort of area here would be really good, right? Yeah, it would. Do that. And then give me a universal depot really close to it. And the reason behind that is... The uh, the the aircraft will bring supplies to there, which uh, my other thing will complete. deal with. Go and research that while they're doing it. Research complete. Well, why didn't you say something earlier? Uh, we're working on that now. Should we work on that now? Don't carry twice as much stuff. I feel like it's going to be useful. Do the compression, then the fuel, then that. For now, what's that one? Uh, emergency training. Security officers and medics have 10% performance boost. Ooh, that'd be nice. But I want to get these done because A, it'll give me more engineering stuff, which is bigger domes. And B, they're also smaller, so these guys can do through them, burn through them pretty quickly. Uh, let's cancel that. I just realised that that vehicle just arrived as I was doing that. And let's run a power cable to this drone hub here. Vehicle battery low. There we go. And they're already assembling that anyway, straight off the bat, because it's ready to go. There it is. Uh, your battery is low, right? Yeah. And they're grabbing resources to put onto the stockpile and build this power cable. Perfect. And hopefully, hopefully, there'll be some aircraft out there. There's four idle aircraft right now. So I'm guessing you're outside their range, maybe? Mm, not anomaly sure. analyzed. Oh, anomaly analyzed. Yay. Uh, your vehicle battery is still low, so could you come over here and charge up? Because that's all you have to do, get over here and charge up. And you'll be uh, good, you can both keep yourself charged for the uh, rovers to do their thing. Doop -de doop -de doop Good, and you finish charging up and we'll come back to you later. Meteor shower incoming. I just realised, you guys have paint jobs, don't you? So we have the Paradox paint job. Or the not Paradox paint job. Well, I think our special rovers, which are our original three, should have the Paradox paint job. And if we have any more in the future, they don't get them. That way we know who our original rovers are. Yeah. Also, we have a disaster coming in. Where? Not that. Which we need to do that? We just need the map. Where will the disaster be? You don't tell me where the disaster's going to be? Fine. You don't, have to tell me. you don't have to tell me where the disaster's going to be. We all kind of know it's going to be anyway. You go stand there for now. Uh, could you actually go and stand on that power cable there and annoy those people in the uh, the shuttles? All right. So we have supplies. You are not delivering supplies down here, like I would like I was hoping. Well, they have to end up with a lot of uh, a lot of metals and polymers, which they found around the area, which is kind of nice. Yeah, they're just running off and doing all the collections right now. All right, well, I'm ignoring you for now because you're not that important for the great scheme of things, but you, my friend, you... Need Pipe to be leak reported. You see, that, that is, that, that, that's not a meteor storm. That's something entirely different. Ba -ba -da oh, pipe leak. T -t -t sorry, I, I blanked on that one. Which one? Right there. Oh, that's actually a perfect place because I can kill that valve. There we go. I'm going to keep an eye on these water tanks now because we are going to start losing water. Because with those two shut down... Uh, actually, we should not off as well, really. There we go. Well, that is repaired. Are you actually losing water? Yeah, we're losing a teeny tiny bit of water every day. Until that is repaired. We should fix it faster, guy. <clears throat> I wish actually it wouldn't do it from down there, it's like you've repaired the power cable. As you go there, shimmy up the little pipe and then just come across and then repair it. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually. Ooh, new passengers arrived, new passengers have arrived. Everyone say hello to our friendly, friendly new passengers. Here they come. Here they come. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Hello, new people. How are you doing? Nice. Um, I want to make sure we have that water turned back on before we uh, have them land. I'd like them to land and I'd be able to have a drink. I don't want to land and go, oh, really? We got a drink. Oh, that's a bit weird. 
There we go. And then so close to the dome as well. How, how brave are we landing that close to the dome? Uh, get rid of that for a moment. 137 on our food supply. They bring some food with them, I believe. What is that? 100 food? Yeah, they bring 100 food with them. Go for that. Off. Beep. People! 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 Look at them! Look at them! Look at them! Beep! <laughs> Alright, you're going straight to work. You are really hard working new over there, aren't you? New colonists have arrived. Yay, new people. Where are you going? Alright, where, where, where are you going? Uh, you are going... Okay, you're going... You were over here, you're going to the bodies now. Exit! We have a full set of people in the metal building. Uh, honestly, our metal supplies are high enough that we can turn that down to a low priority. But yeah, we have people working in there at full rate. We have a full staff of people in here. Excellent. Um, our other greenhouse in here is at full. Our place there is full. Our medic facility is now full with almost entirely medics. And our green rotors is full. We should actually then be able to open up more shops. Ooh, that's perfect. Advanced Martian engines are done. Yes. That means we can now build... We can decommission protocol. That is what I've been waiting for. And medium domes. Medium dome first, then the engineering. I want the engineering so I can blow up the old buildings that we don't use anymore. Okay. Well, that's great news. That means all that stuff's there. We just need to start making more food now, which we should be making. And I can turn more people onto food production if we need to. A more shift. I don't really want to do it just yet. We'll hold off on that for now. <clears throat> What's that unemployed, by the way? Five vacant work slots. Really? They all appear to be full. Oh, in there. Right, yes. In there. At least one person working in there. Alright, so that's all from running there. Uh, these guys have decided to stop flying. And it's not due to lack of fuel. If I build another one of those buildings, will they uh, do it? So if I said to you, build me another one of those aircraft buildings. Consider the house and fuel shuttles that facilitate long range resource transportation between depots and resettling of colonists between domes. So let's first, instead of that, instead of building one of those down here, let's see what happens if we actually ask it to build us something. So, what do we want to build down here? Well, it would be good to get an extra water purification up and, up and running, a water pump up and running. So, life support, a water extractor from water from underground depots. So, that'd be you. <coughs> and if we put you there. Like that. Uh, you'll need a waste depot to dump the rock, which you're going to produce. See, I can't dump it up there. Uh, you're going to need to dump that, and quite frankly, back here is actually a pretty good place to dump it. So. Sector scanned. Thank Anomaly you. found. Are they really outside the, the range? That's annoying. Uh, you go away. You go away and you move into range to make them go away. Da, 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 da. Now hopefully by requesting that we'll have those aircraft in the air. There they go. There's at least two of them in the air right now. Hopefully they're delivering supplies over there so that they can uh, get that done. In fact you are already heading that direction aren't you? You are carrying three concrete. Excellent. Well in the meantime let's look at piping. Uh, pipes. We're going to need to get a pipe from here to there somehow. So I think the best way to do this is actually just run a pipe from there straight across. I was hoping to go past that but it's not going to go right past it. So to there and we'll go around and join in so I can shut the valve off if it gets broken. So there. I want to get into there. I don't want to go into the building. Is there a reason we don't want to go into the building? Is there a reason we don't want to go into the building? I can't actually think of a reason why I don't want to go into the building. Is there a quick key for that? Yes, thank you. I mean, we could go into the building, right? There's not really a reason we couldn't, but we shouldn't, because it will go through with the building. And then we just need to put a valve on it. A valve... I can't put the valves on yet because they're, uh, they're doing that. But yeah, we can build that. And then down here... Uh, we can run the pipe to there when we know where the pipe's going to be. Yeah. Drop off your supplies and let the little robot friends go. Alright, so they are working perfectly. Look at them. The, the aircraft, because we had a problem in the live stream where the aircraft just weren't working. 
So, oh, no. So I wish we took a look to the map so you could see where it was actually ambushing me from. Up here, this is now two flying, two idle. One flight of three, and then one building not working. Oh, good. You've had that ready. Good. Now, give me water pipe from there to there. That is a kind of a straight pipe. That's a bend on it, doesn't it? Well, do that. And we'll also put a power cable because that would be quite useful. Uh, again, I like my power cables to run along the uh, pipelines if possible because it makes more sense to me. Uh, that is fine. And we can put a valve because they should have the pipe up here built by now. Valves, valve, valve, valves. Uh, one right by that. Uh, uh, Cable fault reported. Pipe leak one. reported. Right there. Uh, that one's getting fixed pretty quickly, and I don't really care about that pipe leak right now because it shouldn't be losing that much. So we're not losing too much. Keep an eye on the food. Thank you, water save. Keep an eye on the food. Uh, okay, we're losing a lot of water and oxygen shortage. Okay. That because of you, I didn't realise that. So if I shut you off there, and I shut you off there, and then I shut you off there, and that means our Moxie is not making it, oxygen is not going to make it to them. Because we now cut off all supply of the of the oxygen, and all the water to the oxygen to provide us. So you can't make oxygen, and if you did make it, you couldn't ship it out anyway. Shut it off. There we go. Right. Keep an eye on your tanks because your tanks are decreasing at 1.5 right now. Uh, definitely, ooh, definitely need more moxie producers. And I did bring uh, resources to build you guys. Now, I, want to, because I don't want to build you here because that's just be, that's obviously an issue. So let's build you over here. Now, these are going to produce some pollution, right? Oh, ah! Sorry, right, I right clicked. Uh, no production during dust storms, so you don't want to be anywhere near this sort of thing. So I can put you up here, no problem. Okay, give me a water pipe. Uh, run it along there. I like to have a nice long pipe. To there. And then build me two moxes out here. Uh, let's build you... There and there. I can run a pipe to them directly then. That one then can be deleted just so we get the piping right. And power cable. Oh, and pause. Sorry. Uh, power cable will run along this line still. So that both of you can have power. There we go. And the water pipe will run. That's wrong button. The water pipe <coughs> can run from there up to here and into there where both of you should also be able to pick up from that pipe. And then we'll put some valves on there to make sure it's secure. Right. Don't let the oxygen run out because I don't want to kill everybody just yet. So that's being sealed. Good. Unlock. 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 Oxygen supply is now increasing at 0 0.6. Water supply is holding. Perfect. So bring the moxes online as well. Oh, excellent. You did that first. I can put a valve right there. I keep forgetting to hold shift down and a valve right there. So I can isolate that piece of piping if I need to. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. 10 hours till the disaster starts, people. Right, that's going to be you up and running very shortly. The aircraft are not flying, and that means you should then be operational, right? You are operational, look at that. While pumping away. Now, you will need a valve down here. Boop. I don't want it there, so there makes sense. I can run a pipe off of that, you see, separately. You know, I don't want to be. I don't want to shut down the entire side. This side, if I if I accidentally just want to kill off one piece of the pipe. But there we go. That is all operational down here. Perfect. Oh, we have you. What are you? You're the cooperation. Carry special supplies. That's you. Why do you call it? Oh, did I not press go? Or did I like press enter or something? Uh, you should have been the uh, the DJ, shouldn't you? Uh, you still have food on board. Can you get the food off that craft, please? I would appreciate that. Thanks. Um, 
two more moxes are online. Excellent. So the moxes are saying that we have oxygen production of eight and we only need 2.9. That is great. Uh, water producers up here are telling us we're massively overproduced. Good. But the actually water pump's really helping out. Uh, we're actually pretty good on all fronts right now. Uh, yeah. Um, where are you, my my Toby Roby? Uh, could you do that? No. Could you do that? Then that. Then that. Go. No, you can't. You can go straight for that one up there. Well, fine. I'll, I'll deal with you later. Uh, you're still got 50 food on board. Uh, and we are still holding our own on food. I'm happy with the food supply issue. Uh, how's our research doing, by the way? Uh, okay, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we have... Oh, the, 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 the meteor storm. Where is it hitting? Up there. Perfect. Way, way, way out of the way. All right. Sector scanned. Yay! Oh, nothing found. Well, keep scanning, my friends. Keep scanning. Why did I go up here? Down to the bottom. Toby, Robly, Robly, Toby, 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 Robly, Toby the Rover, or even Toby the Rover, Toby the Rover. The and anomaly turned out to be one of the most well-preserved asteroid impacts in our area. Yay! No geologist could ever put a price on it. I bet they could have tried. About 800 million should do it, right? Earth scientists have long wondered about the effects of ancient asteroid impacts on the Martian climate and geology. Several missions have been sent to gather data about these primordial events, but the landers failed, as if the Red Planet wanted to keep some of its secrets to itself. Generations have passed until we managed to send a successful expedition to lift the, the shroud of mystery. With the data we gathered from our site, our colleagues on Earth will have materials for years of research. Maybe we should finally find out whether the Martian core was shut down or it died out on its own. We'll be able to pick the destiny of our home world. <clears throat> yeah. Or we could research it here. Research complete. Alright, let's try this again. So go to that one. Then that one. Now will it do that? Because I'm, I'm holding control down to see if I can make it go do two tests at once. It looks like it's ignoring that one right now. So I'm gonna actually just do a quick test before we continue too much further. Stop. About go there, stop, and then sorry, shift doesn't work. Do that. Nope. 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 Okay, so you can't issue two odds at once, basically. But that's fine. Uh, now we know that. I mean, I thought we could, but apparently not. Which is really odd. I'm pretty sure we could. Anyway. We're back here. You are still waiting to be unloaded. I mean, there are vehicles that could unload you. They're just choosing not to. Uh, actually, the ones that could unload you are probably really busy right now. I think you're actually right in the borderline when that one can't empty you. That one doesn't want to empty you. Uh, you're at full production. And you're hiding again. Anomaly analyzed. Yay! Alright, with that one done, what's this? Microengineering. Hey, no, we already have that. Uh, do, do, do we have, but we have now got medium domes. That is a great thing. Next episode, if you guys want more episodes, we'll be building a medium dome. This will be a, a, one of our first like, focused domes for what we can do inside them. But anyway, that, uh, me, that dome will be done next episode. Let me know what you think of the series so far and the game in general. And until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. No active research. Research complete. <laughs>